Nothing. No, I'm just kidding. In a way. There's some controversy I see in the comments about how important the things we learn in school actually are, considering how much people usually forget. And I can definitely agree with certain comments, but it's not quite that simple. First, I want to talk about my major classes, the ones that I put way more effort into and that mattered more than most of my other classes did when it came to my future career. If you ask me right now to solve a certain differential equation, or to find the smallest logic gate circuit for this truth table, or to find the current in some digital circuit, I would definitely struggle. It would be tough to remember the exact formula or the proper steps, even though as an electrical engineer, I learned all of this and knew it very well at one point. I remember formulas I used all throughout college, such as V equals IR, which is as basic as it gets, but most of them I don't remember because I didn't use most of them after a while. It just goes back to the old saying, use it or lose it. If you handed me the final exam from every class I went through in college, I think it's safe to say I would pass maybe 10 to 15% of them, if that. And those that I would pass are classes I kept using throughout college, such as first or second level circuit analysis, calc one, and so on. Things where the concepts kept showing up even after I finished the class. But when it comes to that power engineering class I took five years ago, or that one controls class I took my third year, I definitely would not pass that final right now. So can we say those classes were useless and it's as if I never took them? Well, that's where I don't quite agree. Yes, I said I probably couldn't pass these exams if I took them right now, but if you gave me like a week to study for one of these, it's very likely that I would pass. Almost all the information I learned is still somewhere in the back of my brain, and it would take an exponentially faster amount of time to relearn it now compared to learning it for the first time. And that's because I spent weeks and weeks just doing these tedious problems, often by hand, forcing myself to learn the concepts and really understand what's going on. That repetition made it so that even though I can't recall everything right now, I could relearn it at a much faster rate. And more importantly, that made it so that even now, I can remember almost every big concept I learned, just not every little equation. Yeah, I might have trouble calculating the Fourier transform of some random function at this given minute, but I'd have no problem telling you what the Fourier transform is, its applications, and why it's important. I don't remember exactly how to find the gain in certain analog circuits, but I can tell you how a transistor works and how it's used to amplify voltage and currents. I remember how to interpret a Bode plot, and I know very well how an inductor and capacitor affect the voltage and current in a circuit. From all the problems I solved and projects I did over my four years in college, I maintained overall concepts, just not the nitty gritty details so much. But I'm sure everyone watching can relate to remembering these overall concepts no matter what age you are. You might not be able to remember every little detail from some war that you learned about in history class, but you might be able to remember when it started, why it started, and so on. You might have no clue what the formula is for standard deviation, but you can remember that it represents the spread of the data. And that's where I think the power of repetition can lie. If you're currently going through high school or college or whatever right now, don't think this all is pointless because no one seems to remember what they learn in school. Because in order to grasp overall concepts, repetition now will help the recollection later. Now for the obvious objection to all this. Do I actually need to remember overall concepts from all these classes? Not to mention the little formulas. Like have I personally needed all that information from my engineering classes, support classes, and so on? And the answer to that is fairly simple. Yes for some classes and no for others. It really depends on what you go into. If you're gonna go into insurance sales, then no, the quadratic formula will not be needed for you in your career, as well as many of the other classes you take, but I'm sure I don't need to tell you that. If you wanna work in software development and you study software engineering, then know that first level circuit analysis class probably won't be needed for you in your career, and you'll likely just forget everything you learn. If you go into research for more efficient ways to store energy, then some of your power engineering classes will be useful for you, while some of your other classes won't be. It really just depends on you. But unless you have some very special abilities, you will not remember everything that you learn. It's just not possible. Even when it comes to your field, you're gonna learn a bunch of concepts in college. But once you get into your career, it's likely you're gonna specialize in something very specific. Then all that knowledge you had in those subtopics will slightly go away over time because you're not using that information. But of course, there are plenty of classes out there that feel and honestly are pretty unnecessary. For example, I took a biology class in college and just did the bare minimum to get by because I didn't like the class and I really just wanted to pass it. I think now I can safely say I'll never need to know that information and it's as if I never took that class in the first place. Because if I tried to relearn the information, it would just be the same as learning it for the first time. And yeah, that applies to plenty of other classes that I took as well. It also shows that without that repetition, even overall concepts will be lost on you after a short amount of time, like two seconds after finishing the final. But overall, if you stay at least somewhat within your field, you're gonna remember concepts you learn from some of your classes simply because you're using those concepts on a regular basis. As you may have seen some of the videos of my first job, I would remember coordinate systems and I would remember how to read antenna plots. And I still remember those even to this day because I kept using them. 
but I did not have to solve Maxwell's equations like I did in school. Therefore, I would have trouble solving those right now. Will I need to know my electronics or control theory at some point? Maybe. If not, still knowing those concepts still helps me understand large-scale systems in a much better way. And I could relearn the information much faster now if needed. If you are someone who wants to retain knowledge in a certain topic, you simply have to keep exposing your brain to those types of problems. There are even major classes you just won't need to know after taking them. But either way, there's at least the benefit of expanding your knowledge base and getting exposure to multiple subfields. So hopefully you kind of see both sides to this argument. I was definitely stubborn when it came to learning things I didn't want to, but unfortunately that's just the way it is. And it's also why depending on what job you want, your time might be better spent not going to college. So you can focus solely on learning the things you need to achieve your goals, the things you will need to remember. That won't apply to a lot of this audience who's going into something STEM related where companies often require a degree, but there are of course exceptions, so just be aware of your options. And before I end this video, yes, I am wearing a major prep t-shirt. I decided to have merch made for you guys because while this channel does have a Patreon, I really don't promote it much because I don't like asking for donations. I'd rather give you guys something back. So if you are interested in purchasing, the link is below where there are plenty of other designs as well. And for the rest of this month, about two more weeks, I will be offering them at 15% off as a thank you for anyone who orders quickly, but I will keep the store up and I'm sure I will do discounts again in the future. So that's the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join the Major Prep Facebook group for updates on everything. And I'll see you all in the next video.